I'm Mark Losey. I work with a company called Flacax, but we used Fetch technology to build this simulation, which is kind of the beginning of something much bigger that we want to create. So I'm going to go through super practical implementation. I'm not going to uh, be too rosy or too flowery. I'm going to breeze through these pieces pretty quick um, and get right to the practical implementation of how I created these agents um, and got them into a communication pattern. Uh, so a couple of the concepts that are required that we needed to make some technology decisions where we need some sort of large language model that's going to simulate our human-like communication, some decision making. And then our implementation that we're using right now is uh, GPT-4. But because of the intermittent internet access here, I also downloaded a local model. And so I can demonstrate uh, operation through a local model as well. Uh, and I have uh, Mistral running locally. Doesn't do as well as GPT-4, but it gives us a backup plan. And you should always have a backup plan. Uh, and then from an agent framework perspective, uh, we're using a combination of Langchain, which is gonna provide us some integration uh, and some kind of easy way to manage prompts, things like that. And then of course the micro agents framework from uh, Fetch AI and Agentverse that's gonna manage kind of automation, organization, and the structured communication between our agents. So that's gonna enable way more complex interactions and uh, add to our decision making. So I got a bunch of use cases, right? Um, and, and let me uh, pull this up at the, at the top of the article, I go through kind of what I think will be the strategic value um, one of them is ultimately, I want to create personal agents that can be your coach to finding your third place or your coach to like navigating your interests and figuring out where to go to be in environments where other people share the same interests as you. So that's kind of a long-term outcome. But in order to do that, I need to one, one of the hottest things in, uh, training right now is everyone knows we're going to run out of human generated data. So you need to create data that mimics human generated data in order to have additional training. And you can get closer to the specialized data you need for your use case by creating simulations. So the output of all these conversations now becomes training data to fine tune a small language model, which will be way better at the thing you wanna do. And you can run it on a watch or you can run it on your phone with a small language model. You don't need like monstrous compute in AWS that you can't afford. So this is exactly everything I described, the initialization, the building of the agents from the factory, the attaching of the dialogue. This is just my logging info outputs. Now, right now I'm connected up to GPT-4. So I'll get some more meaningful uh, conversation patterns and we'll just slow this down so you can see it. So this is uh, the first person I chose to be the initiator is Harpreet uh, Singh. Um, and he's seeking community engagement on local sports and business development. So we can see, we go through with Harpreet, like reaching out, asking about stuff. Mia responds with, you know, they seem to really love each other. Like they give each other a lot of compliments back and forth, um, but, but a pretty formal communication. But because that LLM is trained on data, like up until 2023 or whatever, like they mentioned real places. Uh, so the Grand Rapids Startup Weekend and West, Mich West Michigan Business Innovation, she's really suggesting things that would be interesting to Harpreet and then mentions the, the youth soccer leagues and she mentions the real Grand Rapids downtown market. Uh, so that becomes pretty interesting for like watching their communication go back and forth. Um, and in each one of these, you can see that I'm in the review third places options. And then the content I've identified is pretty much that message that's part of the protocol. And so that's the variable that's inside the message. So I'm just tracking all of this stuff. Um, and so he thanks Mia because wow, it's, she's so awesome. Um, and then they start to discuss those actual third place options. Um, and they're navigating that DAG throughout this process selection made. So now the selection is made uh, by uh, Mia and they finish up the conversation with this kind of dialogue concluded with thank you, like that's a great place and uh, I'll try and meet up there. Well, it doesn't really make its own prompt. So the, the micro agents framework gives you the automation and the organization. Um, and then I'm using Langchain in combination with, you know, ChatGPT to help me make prompts um, and give it identity. And then I'm just trying to use uh, kind of tricks of the light to abstract, you know, not make the prompts that they're talking to each other with be too restrictive. So that, but it's using the same LLM on the back, but with the micro agents framework, you can literally give each of those community members, they can use a different LLM or they can be uh, generating their own data to fine tune themselves. 
and you can just run a pipeline behind them that they're constantly getting better at what they do with reinforcement learning and they're now truly kind of developing a history on their own. Well, thank you everybody for listening to me.